cease to exist. If people stopped voting, if people stopped paying taxes, the government would cease to exist. Police, soldiers, politicians, all other government workers and welfare recipients are the beneficiaries of our stolen money. They are all upstanding, parasite citizens employed by a parasite system to parasite off everyone else. They are all anti-entrepreneurs, actively working against the free market. They are people who, through their actions, agree with, enable, and enforce violence and coercion against their fellow man. They grant themselves the legal right to counterfeit their own currency and imprison anyone else who tries. Their paychecks come from the taxes we are all forced to pay them. Their means of subsistence is counterfeit and theft. And these thieves have the power to put us in prison if we don't willingly hand over our hard-earned money, whenever and however much they ask for. Governmental literally translates to mind control. It's time people realize they've been brainwashed by their mafia governments. Stand up and say to all government employees a big no thanks for your service. To all the soldiers and policemen, to all politicians and government employees around the world, consider this a big no thanks for your service. Your paychecks all come from money stolen by force from your hard-working fellow countrymen and women. Your employer, your national government, is 100% funded by tax money, taxes which your populations are forced to pay under threat of kidnapping, imprisonment, and often murder. To be employed by an immoral and criminal organization like a statist government is immoral and criminal. To receive stolen money and call it your salary is immoral and criminal. I implore all government workers to leave your jobs and pursue an occupation with real integrity. Find a way to earn money without stealing from everyone. Get a job where customers pay you voluntarily. I know it's not as easy as just forcing people to pay your salaries, but it is the moral thing to do. And to everyone else, let your soldiers, police, and politicians know, no thanks for your service, and no, we don't support the troops. We don't support any occupation built on stolen money, much less an occupation built on the blood of millions of innocents. We send young men and women off to kill and be killed, maim and be maimed, all for the propagation of corporate imperialism and statist hegemony. Then, if and when they ever come home, demoralized and depressed, ridden with regret and post-traumatic stress, we herald them as heroes. But the truth is, 